Millions of students across the country will be going to college this fall. Many of them, though, still don't know how they're going to be paying for it. No, it's tough. And this it is morning, tough. A woman who calls herself the scholarship guru is trying to change all of that. I've said this so many times already, but if the FAFSA isn't going to be helping you with your tuition, there are other ways to pay for your education. I've been helping students be debt free since 2017. Yeah, you spend all that time filling out that FAFSA, and then sometimes the response is, well, not what you expected. Yep. To date, this woman says she has helped students get millions in scholarships and graduate debt free. Carlin Green joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. Thank We're you so much for being with well. us. Yes. Yeah, so talk to us. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why you do this. Yes. Yeah, so back in 2017, um, when I was a senior in high school, I won a lot of scholarships and I won a lot as well as a current student in college. And so in total, I won 30 scholarships between undergrad and grad school. And as a result of winning so much, um, I just took the time to start creating content and then overall a business as well to help students with obtaining scholarships and other forms of financial aid. What would you say is the number one lesson that you've learned about applying for scholarships? I would say to apply early, apply to as many schools as you can, as well as as many uh, external scholarships as you can. I know that there's like every year a story about how a student won a million dollars or more in scholarships, right? Well, nine times out of 10, they, were, they apply for a lot of schools and a lot of scholarships, and they're just adding up the total amount of money offered from all those opportunities. So tell, tell us, you know, where can you find this stuff? And also what do parents need to be doing early? Yes, yeah, so you can find scholarships in a lot of different places. For instance, there's bold.org, scholarships.com, goingmary.com. Those are my top three platforms I recommend using as search engines for scholarships. And of course, I also have a lot of free resources you can download on my website. And in terms of parents, I really encourage you guys to get involved with the scholarship process because a student can be very overwhelmed trying to navigate hundreds, if not thousands of applications. And so if you can join them with the research process, brainstorming how they're going to go about about their essay, um, getting strong letters of recommendation, and so forth, that can really help them with being encouraged to be consistent with it. Could you give us those those uh, websites just one more time, just in case people may have missed them? Get your pins ready. Yes. Yes, yes. Bold.org, scholarships.com, and goingmary.com, like Merry Christmas, spelled oh. the same way. Oh, going Mary, M E R O A. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 And then, okay, so. What's something, you know, that may be a lesser known secret about scholarships? Oh, yeah. yeah, so a lot of people don't realize this, but you can, in fact, in some cases, successfully negotiate to apply for scholarships that you are, like, slightly ineligible for. So about three of the scholarships that I won out of 30, um, I was slightly ineligible for, but I emailed those over the scholarship and said, hey, can I still apply? I meet, like, 80% of the criteria, 90%, and since I was so close, um, they went ahead and let me apply. And as an example of this, one of the scholarships that I had for, like, grad school, it was, like, $10,000, I asked, and I ended up getting it. Mm. So we're talking so much now about student loans, and people are talking about the debt they're in. I took out lots of student loans in order to go to college. Many people choose not to go to college because they're worried about affording it. Can you tell me, you know, I know you're really busy now, but I'm assuming you've done a little one-on-one -on -one help in the past. What is the biggest amount of money you've seen someone get? So the biggest amount of money I've seen someone get has been, I think, $10 million in scholarships with that. That number was in total from all the schools that they got uh, financial aid offers from. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like external scholarships, which you're more likely to keep as opposed to just adding up the amount of money you got from external schools, um, I think the most amount of money I've seen someone get was like two hundred thousand or maybe one hundred fifty thousand oh dollars in external wow. scholarships. Wow. Like amazing. I just had a student; she graduated debt free from Howard uh, HBCU, and she won sixty scholarships using my resources, my advice. So. Uh, definitely check it out when you can. Yeah, I mean, we know Howard. We, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we know Howard. H, you know? Yes. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't go to Howard, but I had a lot of friends that did. Same. Uh, much respect. Yeah. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. being with us. Appreciate your perspective. Mm -hmm. And you can find on our Instagram, everybody, TikTok, and also YouTube. Yes, and Carlin has a new book out yes. as well that everyone should check out to get a little help on that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. That's our new book, The Scholarship Algorithm. Samadhi, you got to get that book. Oh, absolutely. we got to start applying early because yeah. you know he's mm -hmm. going to Harvard. <laughs> well, you know, one can only try, you know.